Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Yes, we are finally starting with the Mario RPG Legend of the Salazar Super Nintendo playthrough, walkthrough, however you want to call it. I want to thank everybody for the support for the Tetris Attack, the Golf, and the Power Rangers thus far we have done. And today we are starting with Mario Mario RPG. <laughs> New game. Well, let's get her started. There is going to be such a nostalgic trip on this. It is going to be amazing. We'll be playing this one, and then we will be switch. And then we'll do the uh, Switch version of Mario RPG. But we'll do both versions of this game, of this amazing classic Super Nintendo game. Now, in the first dungeon, in the first little bit, you don't want to do any fighting. I want to try to avoid all these guys just because now uh, and what do I do I run they don't give you any experience points or anything like that it is technically an introduction to the game this is the only two that you have to fight uh, basically just womp them and if you know like the mechanics of this game then there'll be no problem You can see what I'm doing is called time hits. I get an extra punch in, which will increase my damage. Or when they attack me, I try to time their attack so that way I take less damage. That's not always going to be the case because there's special attacks and spells that I cannot block unless I'm telling my character to defend um, beforehand. But regardless, here we go with our first actual story build fight. You can end this fight very, very fast. And what you want to do is ignore Mar ignore uh, Bowser. I was about to say Mario. Ignore Bowser. Go for the pink link. And then jump on that once or twice. And then this fight will be done. And just like that. Fight's already done. It's a chain reaction. Hang on. Clink, clink. And you also can tell there's chain chomp. You can see the eyes blink and everything. It's actually Chain Chomps holding these chandeliers on. I I originally, when I was playing this, I didn't actually notice that detail until recently. And I noticed it before the, re the Switch remake of Mario RPG came out, so I was aware of it eventually. But when I was first playing these ga this game over and over again, I actually really never noticed that. Until someone actually pointed it out to me. There we are. Well, we're not going to really get out of here the way that you want to get out of here. Now we have ourselves a giant sword coming through the sky. It's Smithy. Smithy? Smithy? One or the other. Top three Super Nintendo games of all time. This is top three. I know there's going to be uh, people that are going to say Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy or actually Final Fantasy 6. I agree in that category as well. I also think Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past should also be in that top three, but some people will argue me and say Earthbound, 
I could see that. And some will say Chrono Trigger, and I could also see that as well. But for me, this is easily a top three in my picks, in my personal picks. Hey, Mario! Lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyways, I came by to pick up Toadstool. Uh, she seems to be a bit late. Yeah, so in this game, she's called Princess Toadstool. She's not called Peach yet. I don't think she's not called Peach into the N64 version. Hey, I thought the princess was with you. Uh, Mario, so where is she? Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Fine. Mario, you forgot something. Come with me and I'll show you. Now Toad's gonna give us a little tutorial on everything. On how to do, st do stuff and everything. So I'll move myself up here temporarily just so you can see the text. Before you start off, it's best to jump on these boxes and save as often as possible. In case of an emergency, you can always start over from the last place you saved. Yeah, well, we don't need to worry about that yet. Unless the power goes out, but then obviously. Alright, back to Bowser's Keep thinking the princess is still there, but she's not. She's been launched the other side of the kingdom. Well, who goes there? A trespasser. This castle belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first it's our first step towards taking over this world. And if it weren't for nosy characters like you, we practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. I'm gonna move my mouth up and down extremely fast, shaking the ground and destroying the bridge. Look at me move my mouth. Good job, Sorty. Good job. One second, one second, everybody. I forgot. Yeah, I'm back. What I miss? All right, game can't continue without me. Uh -huh. Forgot my drink downstairs. You're back so soon. Did you forget something? No. What happened then? The bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now. Just wonderful. We must form the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Now I toad. And now text is on top. So I will move me back down. Oops, excuse me. That bump in your head reduces your HP level. One of Mushroom Kingdom's famous items out of frick you right up. I got a mushroom! You know how to use items? Of course I do! Oh, I see. You're just so well traveled and experienced, Mario. Uh, now why don't I rush back? I have something to tell you. Heck, I remember. I came to warn you that Mushroom. That mushroom way is swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help you. Do you know about time hits? I do know about time hits. Yes, I am going to punch those lights out. That's right. We need to tell the counselor about Toadstool. 
I'll see you over at Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. Now, because we didn't use the mushroom during the tutorial, I put tutorial in quotes, we got three more, so we technically have four mushrooms now. And I've only lost one HP. So I still have 19 more to go. Now, the biggest thing with Mario RPG is fight everything. If you fight everything, you'll be overleveled. You'll, be, you'll have no problem with boss fights or anything like that. There are some times where I'm just going to focus on grinding. And that's okay. Those will be not included in the, via, in the uh, videos. You don't have to worry about that. These shells do take a few more hits than the Goombas. Take two because of their uh, defense with their shells. Now, you see that I'm blocked and I'm still receiving damage. Sometimes it's zero, but if I time it, it's always going to be reduced because I think if memory serves me correctly, it's four damage that I take if I didn't time my defense. And if memory also serves me correctly, max level in this is level 30. You can't go any higher than level 30 in Mario RPG. See, I got a zero there. And then you also get random stuff like that, HP max, luckies, once again, attack up, defense up. You'll sometimes get those randomly. Um, if I do get a lucky, I'll show you what that means. Or I'll show you what could happen with, with a lucky. It's just... Luckies are very, very luck-based. I mean, you only have a 33% chance of failing the lucky. But you also have a 33% chance of succeeding and 33% chance of it being a uh, quote unquote tie. Block. Eh, so and I always focus on. There we go. Lucky. Perfect. That's perfect. So what Lucky does is it gives you a chance to either double your XP points or double your coin. So in this case, it will double my EXP. So if I find Yoshi, I get four instead of two. Now if you look at it, it always looks like it's going to be middle. But it's not. Because I got it wrong, I get zilch. So I didn't get any experience points for that fight. So technically, I'm behind in experience points. But because it's only two, I'm not going to be overly concerned about it. And then he gives us a honey syrup. Honey syrups... ...restores flower points. Which is, in this game, magic points. But the problem is, everybody uses that pool. It's not just assigned to one character, like in Final, Fa like in some Final Fantasy games and everything. Everybody uses that pool of uh, flower points. There are many different ways to recover flower points. Honey syrup being one of them. But there's one that I like using. When you run in the world, you can find what's called flower tabs. It increases your magic, your flower point pool by one, but it also recovers what you've used 100%. So if you have two flower points left and you're at a maximum of 19 and you use a flower tab, you've got 20. It's, it's that simple. And the more of the flower tabs, the better. <laughs> and we have our first level up. All right, so level ups. Obviously, you can see everything's going up in stats and all that. Now, I get to choose opponents. So if I want more attack and defense, that's it. If I want more HP, 
Or if I want to do the special. Now the special is your magic attacks. Or your special attacks. Like the jump that I used in the earlier fight. Fireballs, lightning bolts, whatever. That is what I'll use that for. But because Mario is still by himself, I'm going to opt for this. Because it will also increase his defense by one more point as well. And I'm also fully healed. So every time you level up, you will fully uh, recover all your HP. Now, next time, I need 32 more experience to be able to level up again. I'll take out these Goombas for sure now. Now you can see I'm doing 42 damage instead of uh, 20, 20 something or 30 something. But you see that I'm doing more damage because I leveled up. There, that was a flower tab. Now the difference between these and the flower tabs you get as an item is if you get a flower tab from a chest, just like I did here, that does not recover your uh, flower flower points pool. It will only increase your flower points by one, as you can see I'm at 10 out of 11. You need to have an actual physical item to be able to um, have it, to be able to recover it, as well as increase your uh, flower tab pool. There's also a secondary currency called Frog Coins. We will get to that later, uh, once we get uh, the Frog Coins. The thing is with the Frog Coins is there is an accessory that you can buy with these special uh, coins. It's a double EXP accessory. The only thing with that is it can only be equipped to one party member at a time. So you can give one party member double EXP until their max level. And that's what I normally do. That's how I that's how I grind and get uh, max level done. Is by all the is by that double EXP accessory. Oh, we gotta save code again. Boy, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. There, now he's giving me a flower tab that's in my items. So this is the one that I say that will increase and recover all my flower points in one go. I'm saving it. I'm not going to use it right now because there's really no point at this moment because I'm by myself. I don't have a second party member. So at this point, there is, I'm not going to use it. It will be used. But just right now, there is really no point in using it. And that there, mushroom. If you get a mushroom out of that, that recovers all your HP and your flower points. I thought there was a hidden... Unless I don't remember it correctly. Yeah, I thought there was a hidden, uh... There's also a hidden floating chests. Just like those secret blocks when you're playing the old school Mario games. I thought there was one along here, but I guess not. Or I'm not thinking of the right area. The Lakitu's are good for giving you experience points. I want to get one more level before uh, we fight the next... Our next... Bigger, biggish fight. I don't know if that's really a word, but um, we do have we do have another serious fight, serious, serious-ish fight coming up with the Hammer Bros, and we'll take those guys out accordingly. Lakitu's will keep spawning these spinies until he runs out. Yes, the Lakitu does eventually run out of these guys. You wouldn't think so in Mario Brothers, but he does. Yeah, 
and when you do use an item you stump it during battle you do sometimes get what's called a freebie in other words you'll get you'll get an item you'll get that exact same item again back even though you've used it this doesn't always happen but there is a chance of that happening and nine times out of ten it always seems to come in clutch whenever i i need it Oh wow, I missed time both those. <laughs> if you need that little extra push of experience points and that extra level, this is how you do it. And I believe once Mario levels up again, he'll have the Fireball uh, special unlock. Eventually, that lack of two will uh, drop, will throw a mushroom to heal you. Once you defeated them all, once you defeated all of his uh, minions, if you will. How much more do you need, Mario? Five. Five more. Come on. Three more. See that two that I missed because of the lucky is kind of annoying. But as they say, it is what the tis. Come on, give me the I need three more experience points. Come on. That's all I need is three more. Come on. Are you not dropping anymore? Fine, I'll leave the screen and come back and respawn everything. Oh, now you're throwing more. Sometimes the game is like, yeah, no, you've had enough. This is like, no, I haven't. I need more. I need to become more powerful. we're fighting about because i know what we're fighting next i'm gonna go hp you bitch now you want to come out and say hi the next the next fight is fairly simple you should be able to do it fairly quickly Go up to him once, he'll say, are you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Mario, right, you better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. Approach him again. You now he says we got him angry. And we're gonna jump on him. You can block that. As you saw, I just blocked it. That's one down. This one will take a little bit more. Because he raised his defense. Let 
And there you go. He jumps in the first one, a few one jump and a few physical attacks on that one. Then we get a flower jar. I wasn't watching where I was going! Mushroom Kingdom is just ahead, we're almost there, Mario! Hey, where did this hammer come from? No, oh, it's a hammer, that's what it is. No, that's what it is. So we get our first weapon of the game. ourselves a weapon and we are actually going to use the flower jar so keeping the flower tab but we did use the flower jar we are now at mushroom kingdom welcome welcome one and all to the kingdom of mushrooms we're gonna go here and save we are gonna call it on the first video um we will continue on in the next episode thank you all so much for tuning in and watching don't forget to check out my social balls and check out my twitch uh channel as well when i go live i go live uh, saturday sunday mondays sometimes for some fridays i go live as well but mainly saturday sunday monday until next time everybody we'll see you next we'll see you again like and subscribe bye